That nasty sound we just listened to was the metalizer in the Arturia Polybrute, which is an analog hardware synthesizer. Today I am going to clone that distortion into plugin form by recording a sawtooth waveform distorted by that effect, and then dropping the recording into kilohertz wave shaper. It's really just two steps, it's super easy, check it out. Now I'm going to open up Phase Plant and use this recording we just made to clone the hardware metalizer style distortion into this plugin. We can do this by simply dragging our recording into the Wave Shaper table editor. This is kind of like adding a custom wave table, except that we are using this as a distortion, not an oscillator. Since this is a, dis a distortion, we're not limited to just distorting sawtooths, we can distort any waveform that wiggles. Keep in mind that even though we can distort any waveform, the only reason this works is because the recording we dragged into the distortion is based on a sawtooth. This works because the sawtooth is a linearly growing waveform, and so essentially this recording of the distorted sawtooth captures all the non-linearities in our hardware distortion. Um, we can clean this up a little bit by first off we'd want to invert the amplitude because usually our wave shapers go from low to high, otherwise our output would have the phase inverted, just a small little thing. And then we can normalize the frame peaks so that our output volume is consistent across these different uh, distortion shapes. It sounds more or less the same, but it's just a little bit more professional. And even though this polybrute metalizer can get very aggressive, my favorite thing about it is how it can subtly enhance more gentle, beautiful songs, such as this keyboard patch. Let's listen before in hand with it disabled first. And then enabled. See how it adds a nice, bright, metallic top end? It's a very cool touch. Okay, so I'll keep this one short and sweet today, but just as a quick recap, what we did was we put a sawtooth waveform into a hardware distortion unit. We got a recording of that and dropped it into kilohertz shaper table. And at that point, we had a basically a clone of our hardware style distortion but now in kind of plug-in land where it's more portable, like I can't bring my Polybrute around with me. Um, and so now I can take this on the road. And also I can really put many different types of synthesizers into this shaper table clone of my Polybrute distortion. And that's pretty cool. So that's all I got for you. If you found it interesting, make sure to follow along for more content like this. And I'll see you next time.